is just so beautiful. I love this music so much. Namaste. Hi, dear beloved beautiful one. Welcome to the video. Welcome to my channel. If you've never seen it before, you're welcome to join and subscribe and share the joy and love and healing helpful hands with other people, okay? This video, I want to start again with saying hi to everybody and all my existing friends too. This video is about somebody said to me the other day, Owen, oh, how do you how do I love myself? Like how do I stop not loving myself? And what I like to say about this topic is who is not who is not loving and who is the one not being loved? Green fly on my arm. Who is the the criticizer, the critical one of not being loving, and who is the one being criticized? I lower this music. So, what you'll notice is there is no you being criticized, and you are not criticizing. What is criticizing is simply your thoughts. And um, what is being criticized, like for example, you might be saying, I, I'm no good, I'm, I'm overweight, I'm, I'm a loser. But that's not you speaking, all that is is thoughts happening, which you can become aware of and know that you're not your thoughts. Like in the last video I mentioned about the story of my spiritual awakening, I mentioned how important it is to realize to realize the invisible life of awareness that you are behind and beyond the thoughts. Presence, as Eckhart Tolle would say. The invisible force, the invisible life form. Feel this by practicing perceiving without labeling and practicing me or meditation practicing mindfulness, practicing simply becoming aware of the present moment and giving up resistance, allowing what is to be as it already is in this instant of moment. When you do this, the mind quietens and you become more aware of your thoughts and then you'll become aware that you are not your thoughts or your story, but that you are the one that's aware behind or in between your thoughts, the invisible, invisible force of awareness is always there. So you don't get lost and caught up in your thoughts. And all not loving yourself is, is just critical unloving thoughts. That's all, it's not you. It's just thoughts happening in your head from your conditioning and from your past experiences. Similarly, when you think you're not loving yourself, the self that you think is being criticized, you think that's you, it's not you. For example, you might think, oh, I was an idiot yesterday, or what was I doing earlier? What was I doing yesterday or today? I, I was doing stupid stuff. I, I said all these angry thoughts, angry things. I'm so bad. So you're having thoughts. The, the thoughts are happening in your head. And secondly, the one you're criticizing is your past behavior. Your past behavior is not you. You're the eternal ever present, ex ever existing awareness, the silent and visible awareness in the now, right now, 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 now. You're not your past, you're not what you, what you said yesterday. You're not what your body said yesterday, your mouth. You're not what your body did yesterday. That's an idea of who you are, not who you are. So, so basically not loving yourself is in essence in truthfulness it's not you being it's it's something in your mind which is not you being critical about something that's not you so you're not even involved in any of this you're the still presence of awareness the, the, the now always so most people think that they're the story they're what like they were the victimized person they had they carry this sense of identity big baggage full bulky idea or concept or feeling of who they are. Beautiful, eh? 
Some people might be carrying an identity of being a sick person, being a widowed person, being an unhealthy person, being an ugly person, being a skinny person, being an overweight person, being a male, being a female, being a spiritually enlightened person, being, being an only child, being somebody who was abused when they were young, or somebody who had an eating disorder, or has, somebody who was in an abusive relationship, or somebody who was an, an abuser, and who, who hasn't been an abuser to some extent. I've said mean things to people. That, that's a form of abuse, the minor level, maybe a bigger level. But nobody's perfect and we all learn. And these, anything mean, when anybody does a mean thing, they're not being mean. It's unconsciousness happening, unconsciousness expressing itself. The dysfunctional human mind lost and caught up in unconscious behavior caught up and lost in false ideas of who they are. When you have a false idea of who you are, for example, when you think you're, 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 you're the body, what happens is you end up defending, let's say you're, over, let's say you're very fit looking, or you're, you're fit, or you're fat, or you're thin. <laughs> your body now, not you, your body's thin, or your body's slim, or overweight. What happens is when we are identified with this as us, we have fear or competitiveness. We have, we wanted, we need to defend this idea, defend ourselves from people who say things about our body or look at us or whatever. Or we, we, we have this need and, and urge to flaunt our body, to show off. Or it could be to defend our intelligence or to flaunt our intelligence. We are not our brain's intelligence. We have a body, it's our, it's our tool, it's our instrument, it's our boat, it's our vessel, it's our ship our, for navigating this world. So if you can realize this and spend a bit of time realizing and watching your thoughts and realizing without resisting, just observing whatever you see or feel emotionally or mentally, you will realize that you are this life being of awareness, spirit, soul, whatever. And then you'll realize just how silly your thoughts were, how absurd, how crazy, how laughable. <laughs> you'll realize, oh my God, I had this idea that I wasn't loving myself. And all I was doing was remembering yesterday excessively or excessively and thinking about tomorrow excessively. I wasn't paying attention to the present moment. And I wasn't feeling myself as the silent watcher of the present moment. Right now, is any not loving oneself happening, looking here in the room? Because no thoughts are happening. It's a whole huge story about not loving oneself. Just focus on the present moment primarily. The best times ever to think about the past, like, like an hour ago or t 10 minutes ago or, f or a year or five years ago, is when we want to process and understand the past. We want to figure it out and learn and grow wiser and understand why did we say or do that? Or why did they say or do that? Etc. Why did I feel that way? Why did I defend to say these things? And that's called empowerment and awareness, understanding and wisdom. So dear sweetheart, I hope you do love your love yourself and by doing that I just hope that you, you, you access the still place within you. You can start off in a quiet room and close your eyes and that's, that's called meditation but you can also carry it in your ordinary life when you're not having your eyes closed and when you're not not moving. When you're interacting you can still Keep going back onto it like a light switch, on, off, on, off. You're going to lose it. Everybody does this. They become unconscious and they act out their programming like conditioned robots a little bit. Everybody, don't worry. Everybody does this. So then you just come back to an awareness of the now. Looking or hearing are the two best ways. I, I like looking the most or hearing is just almost as good for me. 
you hear the quietness or the sound you see something anything the sky or you see the space so it's the sky or the wall is a thing the space is like a no thing the sound is a thing the silence or quietness is a no, a no thing so you you become aware of this and then at the same time basically you can become aware pay a lot of attention into the now and realize and you are the silent attention behind everything you're aware of and this is what meditation is aiming to bring you towards typically feeling be there as the witnessing presence like our totally quote I like it be there as the witnessing presence so I hope you now can let go of the concept of not loving yourself or hating yourself there's no there's nothing other than a whole series of thoughts to hate thoughts you're hating thoughts and you're not even hating thoughts it's thoughts condemning and criticizing other thoughts and ideas about yourself that's all so let go of all that by becoming present and aware in the present moment the past or the future cannot survive in the power of your presence now very true and powerful So I wish you all the best now. On a side note, today doesn't exist. So if you're having a good day, you can't have a good day. You can only have a good now. Life now exists when you're being asked that question. The rest of is just a memory and a thought. Now exists. Life is now. How is life going? Somebody asked me today. Good question, funny, and kind of almost made me laugh. It giggled a few seconds later or a minute later. <laughs> How's life? Well, life is now, as I'm just with you asking me this question. It's pretty cool, it's okay. Life is those ordinary, simple moments, like there's nothing special typically. So, uh, thanks. So, best of luck, lovely, warm wishes to you and your family and your friends, your neighborhood, and the whole world, one human family, one cosmic family. Love to all the past on beings, love to all the aliens and ETs in the universe. Thanks for everyone for your nice comments. And I'm going to leave a donation link below because some people left me some donations and I was just thrilled. So uh, I'm hoping to get more. <laughs> kind of hoping to get more. You know, it's really nice. Just love getting donations or even, even nice comments. And for everybody who doesn't, is like a quiet person, doesn't say anything, doesn't leave a comment, doesn't donate, you're cool. You're all cool, and it's all okay, you know, it's all good, so... But it's okay to put a donation link below, you know? Just all you have to do is click on PayPal and write down my address and just send me send me anything you want, okay? Do appreciate it a lot, and it helps, it makes me happy, happier. Uh, a lovely celebration, gratitude. Um, But no big deal with that, no emphasis on that. So I'll catch you again in another video. And in the meantime, you're welcome to share this for anyone you think can help. It applies to a lot of stuff, not just, applies to fear a lot. Now is the present, it's the biggest thing in your life now. And just have, have a cool, lovely day, okay? And if you're not having a cool, lovely, happy day, have a day of processing and expressing hurts or pains as well. But just make sure you're present in the moment so your mind isn't creating all the suffering. Okay? So. See it. Thanks for watching. Bye.